What is going on, everyone? We're picking up where we left off. I have encountered a bug, but uh, and I was kind of working my way through it, and I found a way to get past it. But I wanted to explain the bug to you guys. Um, if you look here at our party, we have Regil, Arushale, Daeron, myself, Count. We have Death and V sitting right here, but no Ember. Notice, Ember also does not have a little diamond above her. If I hit Control A to select my whole party, it will not select her. I can pick just her, her spells come up, but I cannot see her. If I move off the screen, see, she pops up here, but it says that she should be right here. So, it's a bit confusing, but we're going to continue on, okay? So we're going to come over here. We're going to climb up here. Hopefully we don't fall off and die. There we go. And then we're going to come up here. This way. Loot this. I finished here. Is there uh, more? This is a great cloak. Librarian's cloak is great for uh, someone like Nenio. Uh, use magic device skill checks. Also increases the effective caster level by four when using scrolls. That would be fantastic for Nenio. Um, we may give it a try on uh, Ember at some point because I think she's doing um, use magic device. Anyway, this is how we get past these guards down here uh, that aren't going to let us through. So we're going to come over here. And it says, looks like the rooftops can be used to bypass the guards and get to the streets above. Athletics 36. We'll drop a quick save. And here we go. So, yes, I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure that out. To get to this point, right. come on, 92%. Oh my God. Here. Yes, uh, finding your way around Illusionera. The strange abyssal realm space itself sometimes behaves in weird, unexpected ways. By turning the camera, yeah, we already heard that. All right. Um. She's back up here. And notice, she has all of her buffs that she didn't have when we were down there. So, it's just a weird thing that's popping up, but uh, we'll, we'll take it, you know. We, we got her back. I did submit it uh, for a bug report uh, just so that we make sure that, uh, that they can fix that kind of a problem. Found us a trap, and it's right here. I'm glad I was useful to you. Wherever my legs carry me. So are we just in a new part of the? Don't mind this guy. All right. Um, where the hell are we now? All right, so we're in Middle City now. Oh, there's some loot back here. How do I get to that loot? Where's this loot that you speak of? Must be up here. How in the hell do we get up there? Let's come back this way. Back over here. No, that takes us down. Try this whole camera rotation thing. Or maybe we're just not supposed to get to it yet. Anyway. Alright, um, let's see. Uh-oh. This demon looks frail and sickly, especially in comparison to the mighty entourage that surrounds him. His voice sounds dull and tired, but his demeanor is calm and self-assured. He clearly believes himself to be in full control of the situation. A mortal with mythic abilities? How fortunate that you have made your way to the Abyss. Moreover, that you've come to Lucianera, which makes things even more convenient for me. Yes, what a stroke of luck. You see, I need you to be my test subject. Uh, who are you? I am Ustafen. I am at present... 
Abzimir's most trusted alchemist. I'm on an urgent mission for her. Perhaps you can even guess what it is. Xanther Vang was working on something similar in your world wound. Of course, it was a mistake to entrust such work to someone who wasn't a demon. He did not fully appreciate the honor he'd been given. No wonder he enhanced demons. His enhanced demons couldn't protect him. But it does not matter. I am superior to him in all respects, and I keep it better pets. Greetings, fellow scientist. Yeah, Nenio says something. Piss off. I think that... You know what? Hold on. Where's the button? Oh, come on, I'll wait for it. I did it? I did! Yes. Applause to you, good sir, for putting Nenio in her place. All right, surely it's dangerous uh, for such a valiant scientist to stroll around Lucianera ambushing enemy enemies. Eh, enemies. Yeah, eh, enemies. Believe it or not, I am in absolutely no danger. You need me to do what? Something to study, take apart, test. You see, I actually like you very much, though I doubt my way of expressing it will bring you much enjoyment. I'm afraid the demons you've met previously have given you the wrong impression about our kind. You may think we only want to poison and destroy, especially when it comes to crusaders and their leaders. But that's not who I am. I'm a different breed. I love everything that is new, unexplored, and untested. I'm quite positive that if I get enough of your blood and tissue, I can create something new and unique from them. Angels, for example, make excellent fuel for our machines. What uses could be found for such an unusual mortal? So are you going to attack me, or...? Yes! Let's get started, shall we? Servants, you don't have to take the specimen alive. I just need the body. Don't be coming after me. That ain't cool. Ooh, the echo of Discari. A monstrous shadow appears somewhere at the edge of your vision. It does not seem to be in a hurry to approach and keeps its distance as it begins to speak. The shadow's voice is very strange, it constantly shifting. One moment it sounds young and melodious, and the next it rasps and rattles with age. However, despite the different intonations, the voice has a stern, ominous quality that never changes. Put guards out by the rubble and sit there, shaking, waiting for someone to attack you again. I know that, fiend. Champion, this is the Echo of Descari, the avatar of our arch enemy. He is a mighty, cunning, and vengeful opponent. He cannot see or hear me, but he will pounce if he knows I am here. He hates everything related to Iomade. Be cautious. Funny. I thought he'd be taller. You come from the land of Iomade's servants. And Iomade's servants know me. For I have killed many of them. What do you want? It may surprise you, but nothing. You overestimate your importance, mortal. You probably think your victories in Dresden and the Midnight Fane have dealt us a fatal blow, don't you? But my lord's hordes are endless, and there are other rifts in the wound that will serve our purpose when the hour comes. So no, I did not come here for you, mortal. So, after being defeated in Canabras, Dresden... In the Midnight Fane, you no longer think those places are significant. How convenient. Look back across the history of the Crusades and remember how many times you have been defeated. A few scattered victories mean nothing. Yeah, but I wasn't there, dick. I was looking for Mutasafin. I need to speak with him. I stumbled upon you by accident. What a shame. The demon you're looking for ran away from me in a panic. 
I doubt Mutasafin even knows how to panic. You did not pose a real threat. He could not be killed through conventional methods. He left because there was nothing else for him to do here. Also, I'm sure he was in a hurry to explain to him, Samira, why he wasted a few demons on such a stupid escapade. She will not be happy about that. Oh no, she most certainly will not. I want your scythe. Give me your scythe. Um... Yeah, if you don't want to fight, then you can go your way and I'll go mine. Be gone. And hope we do not meet again. Oh, I'm sure we will. will. Still perish in the abyss. But death by my hand will be far, far more painful than any other possible demise you might suffer here. No, seriously, though. Could you leave me the scythe? Because I think that that would probably go really well with my cavalier. Just saying. Or not. Oh, 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 now that the Echo of Discari is gone, the Hand of the Inheritor is not talking anymore. He's just giving me words on screen. Sure. The abyss is full of hideous creatures, but you've just met one of the worst. The Echo of Discari is an old enemy of mine. He is both vile and cunning. I wish I could comprehend his dark machinations, but I do not understand why he has revealed himself to us in this way. It seems unlikely that he would come here just to gloat. Who the hell is this guy? Uh, let's not all be standing around him. There we go. Lucianera honors Arushale and her friends. Okay. So he's just a, a commoner. God, this place is confusing. Is that the loot I was trying to get to earlier? It was! Look at that. Perfect. Okay. That door just opened. Portal up. Um, sure. Why not? Yes, let's all just stand there. Dance around. There's a trap. Great. Where? Up here. Okay. God, this place is confusing. That's not Monago. Don't kill her instantly. Not Monago. I finished here. Is there more? Ivory dice. That's cool. Okay. Where the hell am I now? Okay. Shit. What is this point? To the flesh markets. Okay, so that's the portal up that we used. So let's come up here. That's the portal. What is this? Can we talk to the guard? Talk to the senior guard. The demon looks bored out of his wits. He shifts his attention to you and barks, What do you want? Your face is familiar. Have we met before? Arushle, is that you? They said you'd affected the Crusaders, but I always said a rabid bitch like you would never deal with goody goody mortal scum. Welcome home. Illusionaires miss you and your wild escapades. Arushle purses her lips and turns away, not deigning to answer. Her face grows deathly pale, and there's despair in her eyes. Um, I want to know more about the city. 
Ah, these outsiders, Nocticula, commanded the guards to instruct our guests on local customs. We're welcoming city and happy to see you, scum. I mean, happy to meet you, exotic travelers. Anyway, here's a quick guide that'll keep you alive in Illusionera. At all times, no matter what, you need to remember four things. Who rules the land under your feet? What they have forbidden you to do? Who can draw your weapon against, or who you can draw your weapon against, and who you want to avoid offending at all costs? Seriously. You'd better be off impaling yourself on your own blade than going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the denizens of this place. All right. Um, who runs things? Which we already know. Nocticula, yeah. Take Hepsamira, for example. She has a great deal of influence despite being new here. Not to mention a demon born of Baphomet. The city is her playground. Shamir is the only one she treats with an equal. Stuck-up bitch. If I were you, I'd steer clear of Baphomites, scheming jerks, the lot of them. Lady Valexia in the upper city, she's like the leader of Illusionera's elite. She's always gentle, speaks softly, never rips out anyone's throat in the streets. All in all, I've never, more, never met a more sinister and grim creature in my entire life. Ermen Galeth, the master of the battle bliss, also commands some authority. He's a psychopath even by local standards. This one time, he, qu he put on quite a show. He invited all the scum in the lower city to a free performance in the arena. Then he locked the gate and let loose a deep sea monster in the stands and announced it would cost ten eyeballs per demon to leave. Do you know Burgaz? He used to have four eyes. Now he has one. Ah, such slaughter. It still makes me giddy with excitement. Damn. Among the succubi, uh, Shavaro is in charge. She's an angry bitch, but she's, but she acts sweeter than the blood of a righteous man. Monago used to run the ten thousand delights until Shavaro found her way in. Must be quite a weasel that one. Come to think of it, the city's chock full of bosses. Anywhere you have two demons, one will be trying to crush the other under its boot. Local laws. It's not like anyone in Illusionary cares about laws, so we have almost none. Well, there are guards at the gate to keep riffraff out of the really nice places. Nocticula prohibits anyone from laying a finger on visitors from other planes. We're the trading hub of the abyss, see? Everyone's welcome. Please come in. Thank you very much. But don't unclench your bowels just yet. All of the above applies only to the real movers and shakers. Small fry are either eaten or enslaved. The slave cages are crammed full of extra planar guests. Ah. And one more thing, kid. Stealing isn't forbidden in Illusionera, but neither is ripping off the hands of thieves. Nice. Looks uh, like all guards are jerks no matter what plane they're on. No, it's just that you're still a pickpocket no matter what plane you're on. Demon or mortal, we can all spot an obvious thief at 50 paces. Stop wasting my time and be on your merry way. Who do you think I am? Nobody. You might have been a big deal in your world, but this is the abyss. If I haven't heard of you, then you're not famous enough to be of note. And if you keep bothering me, you'll become my lunch. Yummy, yummy lunch. I know a great way to cook Asimars, stewing them in their own blood. Nice. Uh, what lies beyond the gate? The upper city is the nicest, most luxurious place in Illusionera. Naturally, this makes it the most dangerous part. It's inhabited by the cream of the bloody crop, the most underhanded and treacherous beings you can imagine. Everybody wants to get in because the sweetest death is in the upper city. I want to go through. And I want Lamashtu to suck me off. <laughs> so what? You're funny, slave. Did your master forget you in the middle city? Sit here and wait for them. Then I'm not letting you through. You could be a vagrant. Would, would that work? Oh, God. When was the last time we saved? Oh! The demon seems to have shrunk and lost most of his bluster. Eh, I don't care what Nanticula says. I'd rather live to see another day. Come on, hurry on through while I just happen to be looking the other way. Uh, score. Now, I don't know that we actually want to go to the upper city yet. But uh, now that the gate's open. Yeah. Now that I, I came, I saw, and I'm going to go look somewhere else. Pretty much it. Now, what's this? Into 10,000 Delights. This is, like, really the hub of the place, isn't it? Okay, what's over here? 
portal down. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Talk about confusing. Okay, portal down. Is that to here? What's this? Portal up, portal up. Chest. Oh my god. Well done level design, though. Oh my god, don't just stand there! I just clicked on portal down. Don't fall off the edge. So can we... Where's this go? Up? That's... Can we come down here? Over there. Oh, trap. Okay. Can't go over that way. Can't go that way. Alright. Let's portal up. All right, Eru. I finished here. Is there more? Good job, dear. There is more. I'm glad I was useful to you. Oh, what do we get? Black pearl pendant times two. Golden chain. Silver spoon. So, is this magical? No. Okay. I'm so confused. It has the the background like it's magical. I mean, it's not like I'm worried about it. Uh, we have plenty of carry capacity right now. I still don't understand how did our... Our carry capacity goes all over the damn place. I mean, look at this. It goes up to 3450 before we're fully encumbered now. God, so confusing. It's not like I picked up another bag of holding or something. Okay, anything else up here? Knowledge Arcana. I think I did it. The inhabitants of Lucianaria seem to enjoy the abundance of lava around them. Demons are not immune to fire. They just like to live close to such destructive element. Okay, so now we need to come back over here. Portal down. Should take us down to that one, okay. And then come over here. Portal up, and it should take us up to that one. Perfect. Okay. Double check. Lots of portaling up and down, but we didn't really miss anything. We got something over here, though. Got some loot there. Then we've got a couple places to go into. So there's the loot there. Is there a way to get up there? You guys coming or what? Oh, sorry. Let's try this again. Yeah. You gotta be facing the right way, otherwise the wall will close in on you. No way to get up here? Hmm. I really want that chest. Climb the rooftop. That's over here, though. Whoa. That's way over there. Oh. Oh my god. There's just so much crap. There's Shavaro. We now know that name. All right, let's um, let's come into the ten thousand delights. Drop a save. See some succubus shaking butt. Oh, music changed. See a massive, beautifully decorated door. It's It's it appears impregnable. At eye level, an elegant inscription reads ten thousand delights. In smaller letters, another inscription reads. A gift from Valexia, the wonderful to Shavaro the beautiful. Damn the door. 
Door looks solid and sturdy, but anything can be broken. The deceptively simple lock is likely enchanted. It would have been reckless for those who put the door here not to protect it with magic. The door mocks you. You're probably wondering how to pick my lock. Well, don't bother. Many have tried it before you, but go on. I could do with a laugh. Listen, you. The city's supposed to be where anarchy, chaos, and freedom reign supreme. But all I see is another bunch of rich jerks using their lackeys to keep the poor at arm's length. You should be ashamed at not letting us in. You're not demons. You're the sheep. That's what you are. That's it. I've hit rock bottom. Bickering with the door. Chief. Yeah, they just picked the lock. Um, let's see. We could knock down the door. Probably not going to go well. Uh, we could try picking the lock. We could bluff it at 41. That'll probably give us more experience because it's a harder check. I mean, I'm merely or I'll scrawl obscenities all over you and then I'll add an illustration or two. Damn vandal. You think that's funny, do you? How'd you like to have something obscene painted on your forehead? Fine. Come in. Be quick about it. I like it. It's cute. I want a talking door. Okay. Guards, patrons, incubus, succubus, patron. There's Shavaro. A book. Are we supposed to talk with Shavaro? I suppose we could try. A new guest? We're always ha uh, happy to welcome guests into the 10,000 Delights. I am Shavaro, ruler of this palace of pleasure. The only taboos here are brawling, moderation, and talking politics. Aside from that, anything goes. As my guest, you can expect to receive gentle caresses, or if you prefer, wild and untamed ones. I have servants of every type to suit every taste. Any of them can be yours for a night, or forever, if your pockets are deep enough. What are your preferences? Never mind, I'll find out for myself. The Lilithu tilts her head to one side as if studying you with her non-existent eyes. It feels as if someone is touching your mind. Prying fingers are attempting to extract a recent memory, but not very successfully. Exerting your will, you manage to eject the alien presence from your head before it digs in too deep. You have an iron will. Few can push me out of their mind with such ease. I saw almost nothing. I am almost offended. I do, however, respect the powers of others. Let your secrets remain yours alone. Um... I have a few questions for you. Are you interested in me or my establishment? I want to know... Tell me... Oh, God. All right. Some are foolish enough to call this place a brothel, but that is a facile mis uh, representation. The 10,000 Delights is a pleasure palace for every taste. You'll find everything that brings pleasure here. Wine, sex, music, good company, violence, gossip, stories, drugs, every kind of drug, herbal, alchemical, even telepathic, and many things that seem incomprehensible to us are very popular on other planes. And that's what you get, Mr. Faint Tour, for watching all my crap in double time. <laughs> You're seeing but a small part of the 10,000 delights. Behind these inconspicuous doors lie entire streets, houses, and rooms, a veritable labyrinth of pleasure. No one knows how large this place really is. Anyone who attempts to measure it returns weeks later, exhausted and happy, and somehow changed from when they left. After all, no matter who you are, no matter what your predilections, in the 10,000 delights you will find the room where you will finally be satisfied. I mean, to paraphrase, Lucianera is a mousetrap. Uh, and we have finally found the cheese. It looks like a delightful place, but it feels like a leper colony. Somehow I can detect no happiness in the eyes of its denizens. I see a pack of predators and their future victims, and even the predators don't experience true joy, but instead only revel in their vileness and depravity. Wish I could see what this fiend would say if she met um, Arshea, the luminous lord of freedom, beauty, and a sincere physical intimacy. The Abyss offers a distorted reflection of everything we value in the Upper Plains. Even physical attraction, beauty, and love. Hold on. There, what you're saying is there's a holy version of her? Hello. <laughs> so, so you have a good night, and you're not robbed blind. Nice. 
This is the most dangerous place I've seen in the abyss so far. I'd rather an army of hungry demons awaited us. Um, I see. Trust me, of all